Top Tip Tuesday time again and today we're looking at Terraform effects and we're going to be using this realistic landscape look in a motion graphics technique and we'll be using the ray tracing of TF Trace to enable us to animate some really cool landscape logo or text animations. So let's start the clock. In our scene then we've got a default text object, we've picked quite a fat font which helps for this technique. So we need to set this up for Terraform. First we need to go to our coordinates and put minus 90 on the pitch, so to lie it flat. And then we want our text, here's the world origin, it's coming down, we want it to come up. So let's go to object, and just change this depth to negative 20 instead. And there we go, perfect. Right, for this to work, we need to put it inside a join object. So let's go to Insidium, X Particles, Utilities, Join, stick it inside. So now we'll bring in our Terraform object, Terraform Effects Terrain. And let's just deactivate in the Object tab our display. We don't need that. And we'll just get rid of all of these default uh, operators. So let's get our terrain and we'll just make some adjustments. Let's centralize it, make it a bit smaller. Just eyeball it and then go to our terrain object. Let's go to the object properties and look, we could put this X on 600 just to round it up. Let's round that down to 300 so it's twice as wide. And then because it's twice as wide, let's put twice as many segments in the X, 1000, 500 in the Z, and that's looking good. Right, so now we can make our text invisible and we're going to use a Terraform operator to. Um, generate a height field from this text. So we go to add operator. We're going to use a TF trace, which uses ray tracing on objects to do that. And in the properties, we need to drag in the object we want to trace. So let's drag in our XP join. And there we've got our height. Now what you get with height, where well, you get kind of strict vertical height in this type of generation is you get this kind of triangulated faceted edges, which we need to sort out. And we're going to do that with a blur. Let's go to TF train. Let's bring in a TF blur filter and we're going to put the really uh, accurate one, the gauze, high quality blur, increase the radius to smooth that out. That's looking good. Let's just adjust this lighting a little before we move on. Go to TF train object and in the lighting options, I'm going to reduce the pitch to make it later in the day. And let's just bring that heading around. So we've got something that looks a bit like that. OK, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a trick where we can kind of blend this join where it meets the flat bit. We'll do it with an erosion filter. So we'll go to TF Train, Add Operator, bring in a TF Erosion. We'll change it from the default thermal weathering to snow. And what we'll do, our radius by default is 15, which gives us this radius. Let's put this to a really small radius but then add more snow by increasing the iterations. And then we get a really nice smoothing of that join. That looks excellent. Okay, now we can add a bit of noise. Let's go to TF Terrain, Add Operator, Noise. This is going to be our detail. We'll leave it on Turbulence, but we'll change the octaves from 5 to 12 for more detail. That looks really nice. And we don't need it to be um, this powerful. So let's go to the Operator and reduce the gain down to maybe... 25 and instead of this being in fact we'll just leave it at that that's looking really nice okay let's add a little bit more detail now we're going to in fact look let's mask this noise so it's only affecting the text part of the train and not the flat bit and we can do that using masking so what we're going to do is before we go into that masking look if i go into my tf erosion operator and go to the preview tab we can preview look the altitude data that we're getting from that snow erosion and we can use this to mask that noise here's how you do it you go to tf noise to the masking tab and we're going to mask using a shader so let's enable the shader and we're going to bring in a special insidium shader just for this let's go to insidium terraform effects terrain operator shader let's click on the settings here we can switch off display, uh, use gradient, we don't, don't need to do that. But it's asking what operator do you want to use? So look, we can just take our TF Erosion one that we just looked at. And yeah, look, now that black and white information is masking the noise and it's only on that part of our text. Brilliant. Okay, so now we can add some more detail with hydraulic erosion. We'll go to TF Terrain. Let's add a TF Erosion. We'll change this in the properties from the default thermal weathering to hydraulic 2D, which is dead fast. 
and let's just leave it on that we could make tweaks but let's just leave it on that for now that's fine so now we want to animate this on so we're going to go to tf terrain we're going to use a tf adjustment and if i go to my adjustment to the properties tab look if i reduce the gain it's just reducing this overall thing so if i leave that on zero i can mask this using a field so let's go to masking add a linear field and now when i move my field look it draws on and off our text brilliant so let's just add one more bit of noise for all of it let's go to tf terrain this is like a global noise we'll add a tf noise let's go to the properties let's change it to a wavy turbulence that looks good um, we can put the octaves up to 12 for more detail and in the operator we don't need as much gain let's put it way down to say 20. so now we have got this brilliant animation because our adjustment operator is below our hydraulic erosion it doesn't need to recalculate and we can grow on this text and this is procedural so let's change it from text obviously we're not going to write that um, let's put I don't know moon let's say we're doing a moonscape one it'll re-evaluate that hydraulic erosion but now we're able to get and animate on our moon text